Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Uh, it's a very, very cold, very, very rainy day here in Southern California. HOA and I are hiding in the garage here, enjoying the slightly warmer temperature and not nearly as wet. <laughs> uh, I am very excited about something today. I got a new color that I want to play with that I'm really excited about and I wanted to share it with you. But before we get started, I wanted to show you dried results. Sorry, we can't be outside, but this was our groovy half shell <laughs> um, surprise. We started off doing a beautiful ring pour and then I did a dip with the um, cellophane on the canvas and then I added this ring pour inside. But I really love the edges here where that dip was. All of these beautiful feathery wispy effects are so pretty and I really actually enjoyed this one a lot and I love how it came out right now. That blue quartz from Folk Art Treasure Gold is amazing. Of course our bronze is amazing. The permanent violet dark, the Prussian blue, really, really pretty stuff. So that one was a lot of fun. So today, what we're going to be playing with is a beautiful 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas. And we're using a new color for me. This one I'm kind of excited about. I've been having a lot of fun with the pearl blue and the pearl green from Amsterdam. This is the pearl yellow, which I haven't used before. Can you see that? Spot on there, HOA. Mm -hmm. So this is what inspired the palette tonight and I'll show you what we're working with. All right, so this is the pearl yellow. And I've written it on my stick so I don't confuse it with my titanium white. Can you see a little bit of like a, a light gold color? Sort of an iridescent shift on there? Mm -hmm. At all? Okay, well, I see it. <laughs> but this should be really, really pretty and I'm really looking forward to this with our other colors. So that's the Amsterdam Pearl series in pearl yellow. Okay. The next one we're using is my beautiful quinacridone burnt orange from Golden. I love, love, love this color. And I think it's going to be beautiful with that pearl yellow. Okay. So that's Golden's permanent, I'm sorry, Golden's burnt orange. Then we have Amsterdam bronze, which I think is going to go beautifully with this. Really, really excited about that. So that's the bronze. We just saw in that uh, groovy half shell pour how that bronze in there is so blingy. It's awesome. And then I have here Naples Yellow from Amsterdam, which if you're not a big fan of yellow, this is a great one to work with because it's not super, super bright. It's not like in your face. It's very buttery, very soft, and it does beautiful things. So I'm also looking forward to this one next to that pearl yellow to see what happens. And then I also have some titanium white here. Okay, and then I have a kind of a funky base coat color. Um, <laughs> I wanted something darker so that our lighter colors would really pop against it. And I picked up my Doxazine purple and I thought, oh, that's too purple. And then I added some Deco Art uh, Deep Sapphire to it. And it gave us this beautiful violety blue, sparkly. So this is gonna be our base coat flow extender. Um, my friend Nate Bright just did a great video about flow extenders versus base coats and why they're important and he does an experiment. He shows you all three throughout the process and the dried results. So if you haven't checked that out, please do go check out Nate Bright Art. This was a great, great video and I think it was gonna, it's gonna be really, really helpful for a lot of people. Okay, let's get started. Um, this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with my Doxazine Purple, which is one of the colors in our base coat. Okay, so I kind of want to do a wandering ring pour. <laughs> I appreciate you guys all and your support and your loving comments so much on that groovy half shell one. I know it was kind of shocking to dip it with the plastic wrap and I know that was a really, really pretty pour and I know it was kind of upsetting to some people that I kind of did that to it. So I feel like I owe you guys a nice ring bar. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. And I am gonna use my split cup, but let's decide on the order of how we wanna place the colors in the split cup. I definitely want my burnt orange on one end and the pearl yellow on the other end. And so to that effect, I think I want the bronze in the middle and then maybe the yellow here and the titanium white there. Yeah, I think that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so let me grab my amazing 22 ounce split cup from acrylicpouringtools.com. 
This is a great cup. It's got my name on it. Thank you, Tracy and Chris. <laughs> it's got a great handle on it, and I love the spout. So this one's 22 ounces. You can find it at acrylicpouringtools.com. And we're going to layer this one now. So whatever I put on the two sides is going to be more prominent in the painting. And also whatever is in the middle is going to show up more. These two smaller chambers are not going to show up as much. So to that end, I want to start with the burnt orange on one side. And we're going to fill that up. And then I'm going to put some white in this smaller chamber here. Because I do like to layer these light, dark, light, dark. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna put some bronze in the center chamber. I think that's gonna be really striking against that base coat too. I wouldn't mind leaving some negative space on this one. Okay, we're gonna turn the cup and then the smaller chamber here is gonna get that pretty Naples yellow. And then we're gonna use our new friend, the pearl yellow on the other side. Okay, all right, let's move these over. And I encourage you guys to mix up your colors, play with them. Let's try to find a shade that you really enjoy and use that. Okay. You know, so. the, uh, the 24 karat gold came to me <laughs> in tears. <laughs> it did not. And it asked me if you'd taken a guinea or something. What do you have against? What do you have against her? Nothing. I don't have against it. It's just sometimes I don't want that color. Sometimes I want the bronze. Sometimes I want to use something else. So. I have plenty of it and I still use it, so don't worry. Okay, so let's take some of our base coat color. We're just going to kind of like lay down a runway kind of going across. I don't want to spread the whole thing out yet. We're just going to tilt this a little bit. Give us something nice to pour into. That's such a pretty color. Is that a bubble? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do a wandering ring pour and we're gonna kind of move around a little bit and I don't mind if we leave some negative space on this. I do have more of that Flow Extender Base Coat color. So after we do our pour, then I will apply that. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Okay, here we go with our wandering ring pour. That's pretty cool. A lot of bronze on this side. And there's the pearl yellow in there. Okay, all right, that's cool. I'm happy. I'm gonna put a little bit more of the flow extender around here. Get some on our edges and corners. I'm gonna spread that out. So what I really like in here actually is this part in here where the burnt orange is sort of lightened up a little bit because of the Naples yellow. 
There is some Naples yellow in here. I'm not seeing as much in here. There's a lot of bronze over here, so we may not keep all of this, but I do love this part. So, all right, let's see. Let's kind of walk this down a little bit and see where the paint wants to go. I think we're gonna go head off that edge first. Some of that bronze that's on the bottom there. There's kind of a lot. Okay. Shove the paint back this way. And we're just going to kind of walk it down a little bit at a time. Let's stretch this out. this down because I want to lose that little bit right there. Come down a little bit. What do you think about leaving some of the negative space color? I like it. Do you? Yeah. paint's still moving pretty fast, which means there's a lot on here, so I'm just going to come down off that bottom just a little bit. So here's my question to you, H.O.A. Here's my Ceramax smack stick to point. I love this. This is really pretty. And I'm seeing the Naples yellow in there and a little bit of blending with the burnt orange and the Naples yellow. And that pearl yellow is in there. I know it is because I know it was next to the Naples yellow. And I know it's in here too. And I love this where everything's kind of more spread out. This is pretty, but I don't know if I love it as much. Should we get rid of this, do you think? and stretch those out more. That sounds pretty cool. Okay. Also not crazy about that thing. I don't want to overstretch it though. So maybe we'll just get rid of a little bit. Don't get rid of my blue island. No, I'm not getting rid of your blue island. I like the island. That's more like a lake. some paint off. Let's take it back that direction again and then open up the side and stretch this side out as well. And kind of compress some of this again. All the way to the paint is right there. I'm just going to take that little bit of bronze off that's bothering me. Okay. 
I like this one. This is really cool. Okay. I'm going to put my hands up. I'm going to go around the side and look at it. That's trippy, huh? Yeah. Alright. It's kind of got a feathery. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I like this a lot. I think it's really pretty. Like, first of all, that burnt orange color is just gorgeous to me, and all of this bronze is going to be so pretty. I do see the Naples yellow in there, therefore <laughs> the pearl white, the pearl yellow has to be in there too. So I will show you guys this one when it's dry, and hopefully we will see our magical pearl yellow friend and uh, be able to make some more judgments about that. But this is so pretty in here. This whole, I love that, and I love this with the bronze. And the burnt orange is really cool. I love the blue. Yeah, I really, I'm very happy with that base coat color. I really like the contrast. This is the biggest thing I've figured out in four years of pouring, is contrast. Your human eye responds to contrast. I really like this one too. So I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. We'll be right back. Okay, so this is our dried result of our beautiful wandering ring pour. I'm going to call this one Kitsune. My girls named this one. They said it looks like the fox with nine tails. <laughs> Sorry, the sun is kind of going behind a cloud on and off, but I think it looks interesting anyway. Um, I'm really happy with this. I love the way that it turned out. I love that really, really deep, beautiful base coat, which was the dioxazine purple and the deep sapphire. And I really love the burnt orange, as you guys know. So our mystery magic yellow, the pearl, pearl yellow from Amsterdam is showing up in the dried result, which I'm happy about. I hope you guys can see it in there. And I see it along this top edge too. Of course we did have Naples yellow in here also, but I do see the parts that were very, very white have actually a lot of that pearl yellow in them. Really, really cool. Very pretty stuff here. We're actually in the front yard of my house because the succulents out here have been very happy because of all the rain. I'll show you guys in a minute, but this is really, I want to get this dried result shot <laughs> while we still have some sunlight. So I'm really happy with this one. This is the 24 by 30. This was the wandering ring pour that we did with our split cup. And uh, I love it. I love how it turned out with that bronze blinging in there. Very shiny, very sparkly. There's nothing on the top of this yet. No varnish or anything because it is still a little bit wet in the center mostly like right in here you can see how bright that blue is compared to up here where it's dry you can kind of see where it's still wet but really really beautiful details in here I love all of these lines I like that it's stretched out I love the bronze blinging the burnt orange is gorgeous with the bronze really cool and I like that pearl yellow so um, I think maybe to get it to show up more a slightly simpler palette so it contrasts a lot more might be better. I'm going to play with it a little bit more. And uh, I really like those Amsterdam pearls though. Very cool. I like all these little cells in here. Very fun. And I love this edge where it blended a little bit more. And that burnt orange is just really pale and very, very pretty. There's a lot of yellow showing up here now which is very cool both the naples yellow and that uh, pearl yellow so cool stuff very cool stuff so this is kitsune our fox of nine tails oh bird let me show you the succulent real quick because these are so pretty these are my aloe cameronii which I just love, the octopus aloes, and they start to turn red around the edges when it gets really cold. And this one's actually gonna start to throw off a bloom spike in there, hope you guys can see. And then my beautiful aeoniums. 
I drive Sarah crazy all the time. I'm like, look at this plant. <laughs> These are beautiful, like Gavarias. They're just really, everything's doing great. There's another Cameronii that's in bloom right now, turning red. But really pretty stuff. So, I love my little plants. Look, there's some babies on this side of this one. How cute is it? <laughs> Still got it bad for the succulents. Here's my paddle plant, which is beautiful. But she's throwing off a bloom spike too. This is Kalanchoe Fantastic with those gorgeous variegated edges and some fire sticks. So let's go back to the painting. You guys can see how big cloud covering up the sun right now. Go away! But pretty stuff. So this is Kitsune. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, please check out our website at Fluid Art Boutique. Come and take some classes with us in Santa Fe this year in April 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I hope we see you there. See you next time. Bye. Woohoo, sunlight. Bling, 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 bling. <laughs>